In this video, we'll discuss clinically significant features of thyroid gland, embryology, histology, and anatomy. So what's a lingual thyroid? Lingual thyroid is a ectopic side of thyroid gland. If thyroid fails to descend, it remains under the tongue. Where does thyroid gland originate from? It originates from evagination from floor of the pharynx and descends down along the thyroglossal tongue. It descends from the under the foramen cecum of the tongue to its position in the neck. And what's a thyroglossal cyst? A thyroglossal cyst is a developmental abnormality in the passage of thyroglossal duct and thyroid gland. It's a painless midline mass in the neck that may occur from foramen cecum to suprasternal notch. It may become painful if infected. How the clinical diagnosis of thyroglossal cyst it moves up on protrusion of the tongue what's the treatment if infected antibiotics plus needle aspiration and then followed by surgical excision what's the differential diagnosis of thyroglossal cyst its differential diagnosis is from lipoma infected lymph node sebaceous thyroid isthmus tumor and dermoid cyst a lipoma has slippery edges an infected lymph node has purulent secretion a sebaceous cyst have doughy feeling and a dermoid cyst has cheesy secretion next What's the role of thyroid gland before birth? Thyroid gland plays an important role in cell differentiation during development and a deficiency of the thyroid may cause cretinism and brain damage after birth. Congenital hypothyroidism occurs 1 in 4,000 newborns. Newborn screening for thyroid is mandatory at birth because it causes preventable mental retardation. Also, mutation in the TSH receptor leads to thyroid hypoplasia and congenital hypothyroidism. What's the role of maternal thyroxine in intrauterine life? Maternal thyroxine can cross placenta, therefore it helps to control thyroid function in intrauterine life. So there is a normal development of thyroid gland during intrauterine life, even if thyroid is hypoplastic. What is the vertebral level of thyroid gland? From cervical 5 to thoracic 1. And what is the level of isthmus? Isthmus lies in front of the tracheal ring, second, third and fourth tracheal ring. What are the types of cells in the thyroid gland? The two types of cells in the thyroid glands are follicular cells and medullary C type of cells. The follicular cells produce thyroxine. What's the morphology of follicular cells? The morphology of follicular cells depend on the state of the thyroid gland. When a gland is active, follicles are small and the cells are cuboidal or colloman and they contain less thyroglobulin in there. Whereas when the gland is inactive, the cell may be flat, colloid is abundant and follicular the large what's the difference between a follicle and a follicular cell follicular cell is the type of cell in thyroid gland as we just discussed. a follicle is a spherical structure that has a single layer of follicular cells with a lumen in the center that contains thyroglobulin precursor of thyroid so what are the functions of the folliculars number one they trap and transport iodine number two they synthesize thyroglobulin number three remove thyroid hormone from thyroglobulin we'll discuss it later secrete them into the circulation and control energy metabolism throughout the life second type of cells in the thyroid glands are the medullary c types of cells so where are they medullary cells are interspersed throughout the thyroid substance between the follicles where do they arise from and what's their function? The medullary C cells are of neural crest origin and develop from ultimobranchial body. They secrete thyrocalcitonin that reduces serum calcium. So action is exactly opposite to that of parathormone. The thyroid cell has two surfaces, a basolateral surface and apical surface. The basolateral surface of the thyroid cells or the follicular cells are opposite the bloodstream and the apical surface faces the follicular lumen. And microvilli from follicular cells apex project into the colloid. What are the types of receptor on a follicular cell? There are three types of receptor in the follicular cell. Sodium iodide transporters, number two TSH receptors and number three pendrin receptor. The sodium iodide receptors and TSH receptors are on the basal surface, the basal lateral surface whereas pendrin receptors are on the apical surface of the follicular cells. So what's the function of these receptors? Sodium iodide transporters transport iodide 
from the blood stream into the follicular cells and TSH receptor where TSH comes on that activates the sodium potassium transporters so that iodide moves into the follicular cells from the capillaries against a concentration gradient and from there the iodide moves to the apical surface where there is pendrin receptors. These pendrin receptor causes efflux of the or push the iodide into the lumen for thyroxine formation. So iodide transporter at the apical surface mediate iodine efflux into the lumen. And these two receptors, the active transport of iodide is stimulated by TSH and sodium potassium ATPA and this is inhibited by ubane. Thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland endodermal in a region and has the highest blood supply per gram of tissue and any organ in the body. What's the blood supply? A superior thyroid, a branch of external carotid, inferior thyroid, a branch of thyrocervical trunk. Also, it has another artery in 3 to 5 percent of patient thyroidema artery, which arises from aortic arch, but may also arise from thyrocervical trunk and brachiocephalic artery. What are the two most important arteries and nerves in and vicinity of the thyroid gland, which are important surgically? Number one, it's the thyroidema which arises from the aortic arch and is present in a 3 to 5 percent of patient if this artery is damaged in surgical operation in the neck or on thyroid it causes severe bleeding it ascends in front of the trachea to reach the isthmus whereas the nerve which is important surgically is recurrent laryngeal nerve which is a branch of the vagus nerve travels behind the thyroid gland so arterial thyroid in front of the trachea and recurrent laryngeal nerve behind the thyroid gland and supplies the vocal cord if this nerve is damaged unilaterally during the surgery, it may cause hoarseness of the voice. Recurrent laryngeal nerve may also be compressed or damaged in apical lung, lung tumor causing hoarseness. What's the control of the thyroid function? It is through the hypothalamic pituitary axis. Hypothalamus produces TRH. TRH acts on the TSH which is produced from the pituitary to produce thyroxine. TRH is a positive regulator of the synthesis of the thyroxine and of the TSH. Whereas thyroxine feedbacks to inhibit both TRH and TSH. So decrease in thyroxine increases the TSH production.